Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sardius Finances. My name is Sardia and here on YouTube I create budgeting content. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you've had a great week and weekend so far. Now I didn't post my week three check-in last weekend because let's just say I'm having a few <laughs> personal issues going on in my life and I wasn't in the mood to create content for YouTube. Um, it, w it wouldn't have worked if I tried. I, like I wasn't in the mood didn't feel like, didn't want to like push myself to doing something I didn't want to do. I wouldn't say I'm 100% there, but I do want to create my content. Like it's the last sort of couple of days before January ends and I kind of want to um, end on a good note. And uh, <laughs> although this month hasn't been the greatest of months um, in terms of like starting a new year on a good start, it was good and then it turned like really horrible. And so yeah. But a um, couple of days, it's going to be February. Um, I'm trying to change my mindset. I'm trying to be a bit more positive and, you know, really get out of that toxic, negative mindset, which is proving a bit difficult. But, you know, I'll get there, fingers crossed. But, yeah, in terms of budget, I thought I would do my week three check-in and my week four check-in so you guys can see how much money I've spent. And I'm pretty sure I don't have much money left. So... <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work in terms of my like sinking funds and saving challenges but what I'll do is I'll try my best. So yeah, um, let's get into doing my check-in and yeah. So I'm going to zoom in quite a lot. I do apologise if my camera is a bit like too zoomed in. It's just that my tripod isn't seeming too like work properly for a reason I'm trying to make it work and it just did not want to work today so I was like do you know what forget this I don't have time for you to be annoying so week three check-in you could get the date amount category description and category so my first expense of the week was on the 18th of Jan and that was 40 pounds at mango and I did spend a bit more, but um, seeing as I wasn't having a great soak <laughs> last couple of weeks, I decided to take some money out of my um, little fund that's the... It's for those days that aren't great, essentially. I'm not going to say, like, any, like, spare word, because I don't know if people, like, watch um, my videos with their children or have it on, like, TV and the children are around, so I'm not going to say what it's actually called. <laughs> but, yeah, I did spend, I think... <clears throat> excuse me, around £80-ish. It was just some new bits that were on sales and I just wanted to treat myself. Um, not that I don't always treat myself, but I was just having a bit of a difficult time and I just wanted some new bits in my wardrobe and I thought, why not? I'm glad I had that fund available. It's money that I've had like, sort of left over, but I didn't really speak too much about it because I never really used it and... Some of it was like a bit of birthday money, etc. So I'm kind of going to have that, had that fund because it's been a lifesaver this month, like a proper lifesaver. And also it was some of the money that was left over from the fridge that I purchased. And so yeah, I thought, why not? Why not use that money? Because technically I already spent it in December's budget. So why not? So there you go. That's £40 at Mango. They had some really good bits there. And the quality of their product is amazing. Then on the 19th of Jan, I spent £6.95. I sent my friend a, a gift for her baby boy, some lovely clothing bits. And that was £6.95 at the post office. So it was much more expensive than I was expecting. But, you know, I had this for my unexpected um, purchases, which I'm really glad I did. Because these, like, I don't go to the post office every single month, but... You know, I kind of knew I was going to go this month and I didn't want to have like a separate category for it. I just put it in the unexpected purchases and it's, and that will do me fine. And then on the 20th, I've been using my car, <coughs> excuse me, um, quite a lot. So I spent £19.16p at petrol again. So I pretty much used the full £80 now, which I wasn't expecting. I was only expecting to spend um, around um, £50. But I've been driving quite a bit, getting stuff for the house. So, you know, that explains why um, I've kind of 
spent the full amount and I've made the decision that next month I'm going to put back £100 because even though I'm over budgeting I kind of know that you know that's fine I've got some like leeway of money here doesn't mean I'm going to spend it all but it allows me just to budget a bit more better and I think I'm going to stick with the £100 for petrol for the foreseeable future as well and that's a decision that you know I know it's going to work best for me. I'm pretty sure my February budget is going to change compared to my January budget and the budget that I plan for 2023. And you know what? These changes are fine. I just kind of knew that I kind of restricted myself this month and there wasn't a lot of money left for like fun things to do, which I'm planning to incorporate in February. I just think life is too short not to have fun and enjoy. So yeah, that's another, you know, reason why I'm making a few changes. But... Overall, my budget is going to be pretty much the same. I'm not planning to spend a lot of money because I've got to save um, quite a bit of money. <laughs> so, yeah. And then on the 21st of Jan, I spent £15 on takeaway. So, this was the local fish and chips. And I have to say, they do the best fish and chips ever. So, yeah. I'm really happy with that. Like, I know my food category is always going to be probably in the most um, expensive category because it just is like groceries, um, snacks, takeaways. So it does end up being a bit expensive, but you know, that's life. But in terms of expensives, like if I um, tally this all up, the week three total comes through at £81. And 11p, which I don't think is bad because uh, I'm hoping you can see that. Yep, 81 pounds and 11p. Because um, the first week of Jan, I spent 295 pounds and 35p, and then on the week two, I spent 155 pounds and 94p. So, yeah. I'm just making sure, yeah, I did cover snacks. I think I need to put that in my egg, so she I might miss that off. But anyway. And then third week, £81 and 11p. So not bad. Now week four. So week four, I have not um, actually spent any money so far. I did spend some money um, Friday, which was the 27th of Jan. I spent £14, about roughly £30, because... My family is doing colour board night, so it's a colour board movie night, so we got assigned a colour from like this little jar where all the colours were in there and we just picked it up and I got the colour yellow. So I had to buy all the drinks, all the food item, all the snack items in the colour yellow. It's all around like tink TikTok and stuff like that. So we're doing that tonight and I spent roughly £30, £15 for me and £15 for my younger cousins. So yeah, and that's again come out of that fund. They're not so good fun. <laughs> and I'm just using it to, you know, help me out, cheer me up, etc. So I think roughly I've spent just over a hundred pounds on that because it's money that's kind of from the like I said, um from the leftover money from the fridge and some other bits and bobs. So I don't really see that as spending money because that's kind of like money that I've already spent if you know what I mean so in that way I have spent a bit more money and that wouldn't have been the case if I was feeling all right <laughs> but I wasn't feeling all right and this is what has happened but that's fine that's that fund is there to be used like that and I think I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it into my budget because saving challenges are kind of done for sinking funds and done for and I don't really have too much leeway in the budget that I set. Otherwise, other things will get affected and I don't want those to be affected. But hey ho. So apart from that, I haven't really spent much this week. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. But tomorrow, which is on the 29th of Jan, I'm going to London with my sisters. So I'm just gonna sort of think what I'm gonna spend. So I believe I'm going to spend roughly about £25 on train tickets. This might not be right, but this is what I'm predicting. And then £50 on food. Food. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, you can see that. 
and um and I think that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else um left. So annoying, but there's nothing I can really do about that. And I think week four, I'm just gonna spend this amount. 50, 60, 70, and that's 75 pounds, which you know is in line with week three. Usually week four I don't really spend much money, but um I wasn't planning to go to London. <laughs> but I am with my sister getting an idea. And do you know what? I need time away from my hometown, etc. So yeah, it should be nice and fun. And we're doing some good activities as well, which is also going to come out of that not so good fund because the money is there and I'm using it because it's the first time that I've, I've created that pot and it's the first time that I'm sort of using it. And I'm just gonna, yeah, it's to cheer me up in a way and it's not coming out of my budget this like the budget I've set so even though I've had spend days it's not from within my budget essentially hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't I do apologize but it makes sense to me so that's the main thing so yeah so I don't really think I've done too bad in terms of like expenses and stuff but if you do want to like watch my close out video that will probably be live on the, the 31st of Jan I believe so that'd be Tuesday that it will come out. So let me just zoom out. I know you can see how much money is left in the budget kind of thing. There is um, money left in other categories, but those are my Chase bank account. So I need to take the money out from that. So roughly, even though I'm gonna like do my money thing, um, I don't know how much money is essentially kind of left over. So let's get into this. So household good, I didn't put anything in here. I don't think I really needed much to be honest. Even though I did spend a lot of like things for my groceries wallet. So grocery has five pound left over, so I'm gonna take you out. Because I don't see myself spending that. Dining out has 50 pounds. 10 pounds my sister has borrowed, but she would be giving that back. So I'm just gonna leave that there. <coughs> take, excuse me. <coughs> Um, takeaways has nothing. Personal care it has around, I think, £15 and 1p. Closing has zero money. Petrol has zero. I've spent it all. Transport has £30. And this, I should have like £5 sort of left over. I'm just not 100% sure. Healthcare has £5 left over. And to be honest, I've been like really terrible with my vitamins this month. So i still got loads left. Charity has nothing. What was this one? It's okay. Charity, nothing. Other, um, I'm pretty sure other has nothing left over. But unexpected purchases, I have a bit of money left over in that category. And I think that's roughly around just under £6, pretty much. And that's about it, I believe. Um, everything else is pretty much has been used up. I think I've done an alright job in terms of my expenses this month, but you will see on my close out video how I've actually done or not. So yeah, and I'm just loving these envelopes at the moment. I cannot wait to buy some more, but I might not buy any more because I don't know for how long I'll be cash budgeting for as well in the future. For the moment it's working, but I think at some point I do really want to go more digital for my cash stuff and I'm thinking funds and saving challenges can stay cash based as that works for me but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it's been a bit long but it's both week three and predicted week four <laughs> expenses so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have just leave me a comment below and let me know how your expenses been for the last couple of weeks thank you for watching bye bye